Well, now we're doing section 8.4, and we have to integrate this thing, but uh, the way it stands, it looks uh, near impossible. So if we uh, convert our fractions here to partial fractions, perhaps we can do something with it. So according to partial fractions, we'll write down all possible denominators. And it looks like the uh, options are y squared plus 1, or y squared plus 1 squared. Those are all possibles. What's in the parentheses does not factor. And so since this is a second degree, then our numerator has to be first degree. So we'll have a y plus b and c y plus d. And now we'll multiply through by the common denominator, which is what we have right here. And when we do that, on the left, the denominators divide out, and we get uh, y squared plus 2y plus 1. On the right, when we multiply this term times this expression squared, we're still going to have a factor of this left. So we'll have an ay plus b times uh, y squared plus 1. Plus, and when we multiply this term times the denominator, y the denominator divides out, and we just get a cy plus d. Now let's. Uh, multiply this thing out, and our first term is going to be a y cubed. And then we'll multiply b times y squared, and we get a b y squared. And then a y times 1 is plus a y, and b times 1 is plus b. And now let's uh, add in uh, c, y, and d. So in the y column, we have a c, y. And in the constant column, we have a d. And what we get here is that this equals, and by the way, I'm going to write this down, y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals a y cubed plus b y squared plus, in parentheses, a plus c y plus and b plus d. And I'm going to put parentheses around that just to indicate that's our constant. This is the coefficient on y and so on. Well, there is no cubic term here on the left, so that means that a must equal 0. Uh, there is a quadratic term over here, and the coefficient on it is 1, and so b is the coefficient here. And these equate, so you would just equate like terms, so b must equal 1. And uh, a plus c, so the linear term, has a coefficient of 2 here and a coefficient of a plus c, but a is 0, so c must equal 2. And finally, uh, the constant term is 1, and so d must be 0 because b is 1. So I'll just put that down as d equals 0. So now, given this information and replacing a, b, c, and d with their respective identities, here's what we have. We broke this down into partial fractions. So now we need to integrate. So uh, the integral of y squared plus 2y plus 1 over y squared plus 1 quantity squared dy equals, and I'm going to erase these, the integral of 1 over y squared plus 1 plus 2y over y squared plus 1 squared dy. 
and this equals, well that uh, integrates to the uh, the inverse tan of y. But we can do a little u du substitution here, and let me do that quickly. Uh, if u equals y squared plus 1, then du equals 2y dy. And notice we have a perfect fit. There's a 2y dy, and uh, u is y squared plus 1. So what we're going to have here, I'm going to have uh, the inverse tan of y uh, plus the integral of du over u squared. Okay, and so this equals the inverse tan of y minus 1 over u plus c. And our u, as you recall, u equals y squared plus 1. So now we have inverse tan of y minus 1 over y squared plus 1 plus c, and we are done.